on the racer, looking fancy with that golden golden plasma field. I'm not really sure what kind of immortal this is. Um, either way, we do have Comanche going in, doing a lot of damage onto Valkyrie's lineup. They do have two people getting taken down, and they may be able to get a third one, as the Coddle will be brought down to the knees, and that is a lot of damage onto Valkyrie's lineup already. Losing three people, not getting anything in return, not even getting, like, super valuable. Obviously, he will not be able to lane that well against the DP right now, because his damage is not as great as the DP's, but... He just needs level 2, then he has the plasma field available again, and then he will be fine. Top lane in the meantime, we do have the Drow Ranger actually getting run down and killed again, as, you know, Oracle too stunned anymore. Um, he does not have a healing cell, so it's his, his healing is kind of, you know, slowly and surely. Alright, okay, he actually does manage to kill the Centaur of Warren. A little bit surprising that the Centaur greets his verifier for this long. He didn't think he needed it. He thought he was going to go away, like, get out of range from the Illuminate, but in the end, he does make the lane. But you can see he's just, you know, taking the creep wave easily. Um, he does have an Iron Talon soon to be bought, I imagine. And top lane, once again, Drow Ranger getting jumped on. Turn will be used, and that will be the Drow Ranger getting taken down as Comanche. You Drow Strat us, we kill you. As Conker taking a little bit of damage, a little bit easy, and now they may try to just squeeze, they may try to just bait it with a Drow Ranger. He does get hit. Let's see if the Drow can survive though. Drow gets taken down, so that is will be one person dropping down. Let's see if Valkyrie can actually manage to get any return kills though. And Illuminate will be available in one more second. They do get one kill onto the Centaur. Illuminate is available again. Oracle will be taken down slowly but surely. So that will be a two for one trade. At least the Drow Ranger baits pretty nicely, and they do get a nice return kill amount uh, amount of return kills. Alright, Conker, Illuminate hitting on him. Not really, oh, actually, not hitting on him. He will survive. And uh, a good thing that the Venomancer comes into this lane now. He is level 5, so the level 3 Plague Wards will be helping them a tremendous amount. As uh, as you can see from before, they were just running away with the game. We do have the Razor getting a solo kill onto the DP. He will die for this. Um, but, you know, killing the DP and then dying doesn't really matter. It's still worth it. Alright, so let's take a look at the net worth. Currently, still only being 1000 gold in favor of Comanche, even though they are 8 to 4. The Drow Ranger, very, very low uh, amount of net worth right now. You can, if we take a look at it, actually. Wait a second. 9. Taking a lot of time. We do have the X Mark being used onto German player on the Venomancer. The Venomancer is worth a lot as well, as he is level 5, so he's he's a big kill. He's a bigger, bigger kill on the side of Valkyrie. He's worth 230 gold to everyone. Oh, Oracle ooh, almost getting surviving that one. Trying to take away the poisons, but he cannot take away the Venomous skill. Stun is uh, slow. And now we do have the Centaur trying to do something. That will be a lot of damage done. He will be able to get the key of the Light killed. And now Drow Ranger losing vision of the Centaur. He's trying to go in and do something to him. He does get vision of him, and let's see if the if the centaur can survive for long enough. We do have German play coming back. Like this guy will just be left alone, and he will be taken down slowly but surely. Uh, so he's not really able to survive. Maybe he can go for the deny, but he's just going for the long run, and he will be taken down in the end. As the uh, oracle just uses one more purifying flame, and that is a de dead DP. To do so as the raindrops that did block a little bit of them. No, actually, he didn't have any raindrops. He just didn't get hit by it. Hoof stomp, and German play is dead. So nice little kill yet again, all of those Serpent Walls will be killed as well, so they will survive in this lane. And offlane just heal this game, or just like the classical, or well at least the new meta, like getting Dragonlance instead. Um, I guess that will maybe be the thing. Centaur sitting on 1500 more gold, 1500 gold, I guess, you know, blank rush on him. Mid lane, he actually missed the airshaker going in, getting the jump in, and getting the echo slam kill onto the racer. A little bit unfortunate, T2 is on me guys. German player on the Venomance in the bottom lane in the meantime will be taken down as slowly but sure will be run down by the Meepo. He will be killed as uh, Chappie does find the la the finishing hit and keep off the lap. Plus a little bit difficult as the Razor may be in trouble. He does get healed up a little bit but is it enough as the Spirit is doing so much in this on that DP and he will get a kill onto the Razor as the Razor does find his way to the death. That Invis room was doing so much work on the DP just managing to use his ultimate without, a without having to worry about getting killed or anything. So T1 Town in the mid lane will be taken down and a Razor kill on top of that. Valkyrie getting some value and now 9 having a little bit too much fun in the top lane getting the T1 Town taken down will be killed. I say he has been given some space in the top lane, he almost has his Dragonlance completed so they were a little bit tired giving him all of this game. Chabby going for the TP out and it looks like he will be successful doing so. Oh but the but one of the Meepos gets caught as Gabo finds a way to kill the Meepo. That is the top net worth on the side of Comanche and he is worth a good amount of gold so that's that's unfortunate especially. 
in position to try and make some kind of counterplay, but the Mipo doesn't have his blink, so let's see if he can do something. We do have the Centaur. Stampede will be used. Keep with the light taking a lot of damage. We do have the Centaur with the double edge available, but this DP is too healthy to actually be killed by this. He does have 500 HP available. We do have the Coddle. 20 HP survival in this area. Oh, this is this is silly that he's surviving with this. Now we do have the Razor in the back lines getting taken down. When that falls from his ends, we do have the Oracle getting taken down as well. And Razor popping, so that's two people down on the side of Commander. Three people down as the Kunga gets killed as well. The Keep of the Light it will be the only one dropping down as the Centaur finally finds him. As uh, they have to defend this tier 3 tower, the exorcism has been used by Valkyrie. They want to do as much damage as possible. We do have the DP getting gone on. We have the Stampede being used as well. And now let's see the DP taking a lot of damage. The, the Silence hitting onto three people, not able to do anything against them. And that it will be the DP getting forced off the way. He will be fine. The boat got used as well. Now, blink in from offlane on the center, almost dropping down. He will be killed, getting blocked by his own teammate. I'm not sure it mattered anyways. Now we have the Kunga going in, getting taken down as well. It looks like Comanche, they're just getting overrun. It looks so beautiful in the early game. But now Valkyrie, they've items coming on from the side of Valkyrie. We do have the Akron set now up on the Cube of the Light. That's a very, very big item, as that will make Meepo completely useless when he goes in. Obviously, he can do the poof damage, but he cannot hit people. Um, he does kill the drone in the bottom lane as Ramon gets found. And the green core could be the next item for him. Um, BKB is also very nice against the Meepo, but we'll, we'll see if he decides to be greedy or not. And Centaur going in, getting a jump onto German player on the Venomancer, maybe able to kill this guy as the BKB gets popped by Razor, almost getting enough damage off. And German player, he does get the control onto these two people, and Razor will be forced to back up. We do have the DP taking a lot of damage as well, and he may be dropping down as he does indeed get killed. So this time they do might find a way to get the kill on the important person. We do have Scapo on the Urshika trying to do something. We do have the Fisher missing. And now Chivage trying to TP out, but it doesn't really work as Scabbo, he doesn't want to let this guy survive. And Torrent will be used onto the Urshika, but that's not really going to be doing too much. Alright, German player is already going to be the first one dropping down. We do have Scabber not able to get the initiation onto the Meepo. And let's see the Meepo trying to do something. Fisher will be used onto most of them. We do have the DP coming in with the ultimate on. And let's see if Fluff can do something against this Meepo. Meepo taking a lot of damage. We do have the Urshika going in, getting a nice little enchant totem here. And that will be the Chappie dropping. And uh, let's see, Comanche, can they hold? Can they continue doing this? Meepo is still very, very farmed, but it just, just doesn't seem like he's farmed enough. We do have Urshiga, six seconds left, and he has his ultimate available, but he's getting gone. He's taking a lot of time. He may be getting killed here. He is invisible so far. He does have his ultimate available. Now, Torrent will be used on him. He is getting controlled up, but the ultimate, and he gets the Razor kill. That will be the Centaur moving in. He's still invisible. And this this Urshiga is just staying alive. The Centaur as well, so the Razor will be taken down. The BKB was used by the Dragon and Double Dragonlance, Blink, and Aghanim Scepter. Now they go in. They get a jump on the DP. DP taking a bunch of damage. And BKB will be forced on him. 10 second BP, BKB. We have the Razor going in. Using the BKB as well. DP dropping very, very low. Eelset will, will be used on him. He doesn't have an Arterine call though. So he will drop down eventually. And that will be the Venom as they're getting gone as well. Will be hit by the boat. Will be taken down slowly and surely. And oh, Razor barely surviving. But it's still fine. They're trying to get more and more kills. Ravenger will be able to get a TP out. Keep of the Light trying to survive. But he will be having a slow death. He actually gets a double kill before dying with that Illuminate. And that is insane. And oh, the, the Oracle will die as well. He manages to get a triple kill for his team with that. German player on the Venomancer. They just torn him up a little bit. We do have Chivash on the Conquer in the back lines. He does get spotted out though. X Mark will be used on German player. German player will be sent back slowly but surely. And uh, let's see, in the meantime, we do have Scabbo going in, getting a jump onto the Razor. Razor, and that will be the Shadow Blade baited out, but they do have vision of him. Scabbo will be taken down, maybe, as he's taking so much damage, he will be dead, indeed. As that will be the Razor trying to get a kill onto the Keep of the Light as well, but that will not happen. And now Draw Ranger, a lot of damage on this guy. He may be able to get the kill onto the Razor, actually, as Razor, he goes a little bit too far, trying to get the kill onto the Keep of the Light. He very much didn't have to do that, and he didn't have enough enough survivability to actually, you know, go in and do that in the first place. So that will be a 2 for one but uh, once again, Comanche, they just lose one more person unnecessarily. Alright, Key of the Light being found here. And slowly but surely, he will be taken down. Alright, so a 3 for 1 trade. Um, he wants to have the Aegis in hand, as the Aegis is very, very important as a Meepo, because you kind of want to go in, you want to suicide, and then they want to pick up the Aegis. 
Oh, but the but the Venom Mansa was getting some vision taken there. We do have the Meepo. One of the Meepo surviving, but it looks like this one will be dropping down either way. And indeed, it will be dead, as that will be Centaur as well as the Meepo dropping down. Buybacks on who bought that? It's in the neighborhood as well, and they may be able to get a kill on him. Oh, the recall will be used as well. That will be the Drowinger coming in, I imagine. And yep, indeed, the Razor will be forced to use his BKB. He will be forced from up. He will be surviving for now. And as long as Mija can keep healing him, he should be fine. Ooh but no, he actually gets killed. That's unfortunate. All right, so that was the other one. Drow Ranger taking a lot of damage. That is still just the Aegis, though, as the Centaur will be fine. He doesn't actually die for this attempt. And let's see. They go in, they try to get the kill onto the Drow Ranger, and they will be able to pop the Aegis. We do have the DP getting controlled over a little bit. The PKP has been popped on this guy. Razor being alive for now, but I'm not sure he will be able to survive. He will be able to survive for now. For, survive for now. We do have the Keep of Light trying to illuminate him, but he is just fine. And let's see Meepo in the back lines going in, trying to get a jump on someone. We do have. Let's see who we can jump. German play taking a lot of damage will be killed by the looks of things. We do have double knight being used, and that will be hitting on to both the draw as well as um, as the keep of the light. We have them, uh, the air shaker going in, getting a very big. Uh, I don't even know, guys. Getting a very big ultimate off onto the Meepo, almost killing him, but the Meepo barely survives. Gets a TP back to the base, kills, gets killed on the way, so he finally finds his way back. Alright, let's see. So in the base, the push will be starting on. Once again, we do have the top lane, the range tracks. It's a little bit hurt. And uh, we do have in the mid lane, we do have the metal racks taken down. The illusions from the draw range are doing a lot of work. And we do have the DP maybe getting controlled up. We do have the racer going in, using using the static link onto the draw range, trying to take a little bit of the damage away. The racer getting controlled up. He does pop that BKP, uses all of his spirit siphons, will be alive for now. We do have the echo slam coming in. Razor. Being very much in trouble, Centaur dropping very low as well. We do have the DP using the eel set defensively. He will still be alive. And let's see, now Chappy coming in on the Meepo, trying to get a kill on him. But he does not actually hit the mischance. It's insane from the Keep of the Light. And Chappy will be dropping down on the Meepo. One of the Meepos is super low and he will be killed. 120 seconds on the sidelines. He will call the GG as Valkyrie, they managed to get the win.